I, I remember talking to um, one of the girls, she was junior high, and she was standing in the front entrance, and it was about five o'clock at night. Both her parents were from China originally, and they were both working two full-time jobs, they, so they couldn't pick her up. So her time was spent, uh, she hung around at school from three o'clock until uh, she could get picked up at about five o'clock. And the school accommodated that, and we accommodated that by just saying, yeah, okay, we know who you are, I know what kind of person you are, yeah, you can stay here and hang out until five o'clock. Is it more constructive to do something for her? Probably. She was able, she studied, she did all those things, so she was an honor student. She had marks in the 90s because she took her time to study, but not all children do that. And a lot of children need guidance at that time to be able to do that. From the school's point of view, the challenges are, uh, they're multiple because the, the needs can be many. Some of these families don't have anybody to advocate for them, so they are, they're trying to fit into a system, a society that's well established, and they're trying to find their way, and they don't, have, they don't necessarily have someone to guide them through that, and the school becomes that point for that. I come from the Philippines. I was born in Manila but I had to live with my grandparents for about two years because my mom moved to Canada. On my first day with school, I didn't know anyone, so I tried my best speaking English, and I sometimes messed up and didn't know what I was saying. And at the end of the day, I just waited. Then my mom eventually came. She works like very far from here, so she's late, and I'm always late. Always the last one to go home. Uh, I'm from Romania. I came, I came to Canada in 2004. It wasn't easy on that part. When I started working full-time, this was last year, I remember I was desperate because I'm working till five. You know, and I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? But those critical hours right after school, from three o'clock till six o'clock, or until parents can get home, it's not good enough for them to be left alone. And so what we have on site now, we have a full-time mental health therapist, we have a full-time social worker on site, we have a full-time success coach, and so we have a lot of support people to work with our students. It's a huge help <laughs> when you work, right? Because it's after school and then you can come pick them up. I'm off work at five, I'm here by 5.15, it's just perfect. And the kids love it. It's just perfect. Do drums, they do like dancing, all kinds of activities. Uh, I think it's uh, amazing because everyone gets together and during the potlucks everyone get to try their own food from their own country. And you get to meet different people, talk. Then you, you get to see other people that are going through the same stuff as you are. Everybody is like missing their own families, everybody have their own problems, and you're thinking I'm not alone and you became friends with these people. Yeah, sound rolling. Sound? Yeah, rolling. Okay, action. <laughs>